This is my clearance lights, my marker light, my running light, and my low beam, my high beam, my left turn signal, my right turn signal, my forward flashers. Now can you assist me with the back, please? This is my running lights and my clearance lights. My left turn signal, my right turn signal, my forward flashers, and my brake lights. My clearance lights, they're not cracked or broken, they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. They're amber in color because I face in the front of the vehicle. I'm gonna inspect my windshield. I'm gonna make sure my windshield is not cracked or broken, or disappearing and it's securely mounted by the rubber seal. My rubber seal is not excessively worn or torn and it will not leak. My windshield wipers, I'm gonna make sure they're not cracked or broken and they're securely mounted. They're securely mounted to the arm, the arm securely mounted to the vehicle, no missing hardware. My windshield wiper blade, I'm gonna make sure it's not excessively worn or torn and it's a full contact to the windshield. Now I'm gonna inspect my lights. This is the cover of my lights. I have one here and one in the other side. I'm gonna make sure they're not cracked or broken and they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. The light right here and the light on the other side. <clears throat> they represent my low beam and my high beams. The amber lights on the side of my truck. They're amber in color because I face in the front of the vehicle. The function of these lights is my left turn signal, my right turn signal, my forward flashers, and my running lights. <clears throat> Now I'm gonna look into my vehicle, I'm gonna make sure my vehicle is not leaning to either side, indicating the suspension problem. It can be shock absorber, leaf spring fail, or the flat tire, or that my load is shifting. I'm gonna look under my vehicle, I'm gonna make sure there's no paddles, indicating that any type of fluid is leaking. I'm gonna make sure there's no hanging hose or hanging wires. I'm gonna inspect my coolant reservoir. My coolant reservoir is not cracked, broken, or leaking, and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. It's on the proper level. The cap for my coolant reservoir is not cracked, broken, or leaking, and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware, and it's on the tight position. The rubber seal inside is not excessively worn or torn, and it will not leak. I'm gonna inspect my alternator. My alternator, I'm gonna make sure it's not cracked or broken, and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. The wires for my alternator, I'm gonna make sure they're properly routed, no exposed wire, no free wire, securely mounted, no missing hardware. Now I'm gonna inspect my water pump. My water pump, I'm gonna make sure it's not cracked, broken, or leaking, and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. My water pump and my alternator, they're belt driven. I'm gonna inspect my belt. I'm gonna make sure it's not excessively worn or torn, and it's a full contact to the vehicle. If I pull in it from the center point, it should be no more than three quarters of the play. I'm gonna inspect my windshield washer reservoir. I'm gonna make sure it's not cracked or broken and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. It's on the proper level. The cap is on the tight position, it's not cracked or broken and it's not leaking. The rubber seal inside is not excessively worn or torn and it will not leak. I'm gonna inspect all the hoses on this side of the vehicle. I'm gonna make sure there's no abrasions, bulges, cuts, or leaks, and they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. I'm gonna inspect all the wires on this side of the vehicle. I'm gonna make sure they're properly routed, no exposed wire, no free wire, securely mounted, no missing hardware. I'm gonna inspect my oil cap. My oil cap, I'm gonna make sure it's not cracked or broken and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware, and it's not leaking. <coughs> it's on the tight position. The rubber seal inside is not excessively worn or torn and it will not leak. This one right here is my oil dipstick. My oil dipstick, I'm gonna make sure it's not cracked, broken, or leaking, and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. If I need to check the level of the oil on my motor, I will pull it out, wipe it in, reinsert it, take it out, check the level of my oil. If I need to add it oil, I will add it to the cap by the gallon. Right in here is my air compressor. My air compressor, I'm gonna make sure it's no crack, broken, or leaking, and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. Under my air compressor is gonna be my power steering pump. My power steering pump, I'm gonna make sure it's no crack, broken, or leaking, and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. My air compressor and my power steering pump, they're gear driven. I'm gonna inspect my steering column. My steering column, I'm gonna make sure it's not cracked or broken and it's securely mounted. It's securely mounted by two of your joints, one in here and one on the top. 
the U-joints for my steering column. I'm gonna make sure there's no crack or broken, they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. My steering column, if I pull on it, should be no more than 10 degrees of play. Now I'm gonna inspect my, my steering box. My steering box, I'm gonna make sure there's no crack or broken or leaking and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. Right in here is my power steering reservoir. My power steering reservoir, I'm gonna make sure there's no crack, broken or leaking and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. It's on the proper level. If I need to add a fluid, I will add it to the cap. The cap is on the tight position. It's not cracked, broken, or leaking, and it's securely mounted. Under my cap is gonna be a rubber seal. I'm gonna make sure it's not excessively worn or torn and it will not leak. The hose for my power steering reservoir. I'm gonna make sure it's no abrasions, bulges, cuts, or leaks, and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. I'm gonna inspect all the hoses on this side of the vehicle. I'm gonna make sure it's no abrasions, bulges, cuts, or leaks, and they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. I'm gonna inspect all the wires on this side of the vehicle. I'm gonna make sure they're properly routed, no exposed wire, no free wire, securely mounted, no missing hardware. Now, I'm gonna inspect the frame. The frame on this side of the vehicle, I'm gonna make sure there's no uh, <coughs> crack, broken, or damaged, and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. Doesn't have any legal holes or legal wells. I'm gonna inspect my uh, <coughs> list spring mounts. I have one in here and one in the back. My list spring mounts, I'm gonna make sure there's no crack or broken, they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. Right in here is my list spring bushing. My list spring bushing, I'm gonna make sure it's not excessively worn or thrown, and it's a full contact to the vehicle, no missing hardware. These ones right here, they're my leaf springs. My leaf springs, I'm gonna make sure they're not cracked or broken or shifting, and they're securely mounted by two U-balls, shim, spacers, and four nuts. This is my shack absorber and my shack absorber mounts. I'm gonna make sure my shack absorber and my shack absorber mounts, they're not cracked or broken, and they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. And I'm gonna make sure that my shack absorber is not leaking. Now I'm gonna inspect my pitman arm, my drag clean, my upper, my lower control arm and my tie rod. I'm gonna make sure they're not cracked or broken and they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. They're securely mounted by three custom nuts and three cutter pins on this side. I have one in here, one in here, and one under. From there, I'm gonna inspect my uh, brake chamber hose. My brake chamber hose, I'm gonna make sure there's no abrasions, bulges, cuts, or leaks, and they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. <clears throat> and it's not leaking. This is my ABS wire. My ABS wire, I'm gonna make sure it's properly routed, not post wire, not free wire, securely mounted, no missing hardware. This one right here is my brake chamber clamp, my brake chamber and my brake chamber clamp. I'm gonna make sure they're not cracked or broken and that they're securely mounted, no missing hardware, and they're not leaking. My push rod and my slack adjuster. I'm gonna make sure they're not cracked or broken, they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. They're securely mounted by two pins and two cutter pins. If I pull on it, it should be no more than one inch of the plate when my brakes are released. Now I'm gonna inspect my inside half seal and my outside half seal. I'm gonna make sure my half seal is not cracked, broken or leaking and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. If my half seal was leaking, I would see paddle or spin trail as I need to add a fluid, I will add it through the cap. The cap for my uh, half seal is not cracked or broken and it's securely mounted and it's not leaking and it's on the tight position. Now I'm gonna inspect my brake liners, my brake liners and my brake drum. I'm gonna make sure my brake liners and my brake drum, my brake liners are not cracked or broken and they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. My brake drum, it's not cracked or broken and it's securely mounted. It doesn't have any sign of decoloration indicating the overheating, uh, the overheating problem. My brake liners, they're not allowed to have less than one quarter of that inch of the thinness point. In between my brake liners and my brake drum, free of debris, grease, or any other contamination. From here, I want to inspect my inside rim and my outside rim. I want to make sure it's not cracked or broken and it's securely mounted. It doesn't have any sign of uh, <coughs> illegal holes or illegal wells. My rim and my brake drum, they're securely mounted by the lug nuts. All my lug nuts, they're present, they're on the tight position. They're not cracked or broken or have any distortion. It's one of my lug nuts. What's loose, I will see rusty in this metal rim. Now I want to inspect my tire. My tire, this is a steering tire. <clears throat> because it's a steering tire, it's not allowed to be regrouped, recap, or retread, and it's not allowed to have less then for 30 seconds of the deepest point. This tire and the tire on the other side has to be the same side of the tread. They could not be mixed match and has to be the same size. 
my inside tire, my outside tire, and the face of my tire, I'm gonna make sure it's no abrasions, bulges, cuts, or leaks, and properly seal it to my rim. The air specification of my tire is 110 PSI or manufacturer specification. If I need to add it air or check the air on my tire, I will do it through the valve stem. My valve stem, I wanna make sure it's no crack, broken, or leaking, and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. My valve stem cap, I wanna make sure it's on the tight position, it's no crack, broken, or leaking, and no missing hardware. <coughs> Now I'm gonna start inspecting my couplings. I'm gonna inspect my couplings. <clears throat> First thing I'm gonna mention, this is my service line and this is my emergency line. I'm gonna make sure it's no operations, bulges, cats or leaks, and they're securely mounted. They're securely mounted to my tractor and they're securely mounted to my trailer. They're securely mounted to my trailer with the Glahen and the Glahen receivers. My Glahen and my Glahen receivers, I wanna make sure they're not cracked or broken and they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. And between my Glahen and my Glahen receivers, is a rubber seal. I wanna make sure it's not easily worn or torn and it will not leak. Now I'm gonna inspect my electrical cord. My electrical cord, I wanna make sure it's not exposed wire, no frayed wire, properly routed, securely mounted, no missing hardware. And it's securely mounted to my tractor and securely mounted to my trailer, to the junction box of my trailer. My electrical cord doesn't have electrical tape or black tape. I wanna mention that my hoses and my electrical uh, wire, they're a proper distance to my catwalk. Now I'm gonna inspect the apron of my trailer. The apron of my trailer, I'm gonna make sure it's not cracked or broken and it's securely mounted. This one is well, so I'm gonna inspect the wells, make sure it's not cracked well and not miswelding. Right there is my fifth wheel. My fifth wheel, I'm gonna make sure it's not cracked or broken and it's securely mounted. Between my apron and my fifth wheel, it's not daylight and it's properly greased. This one right here is my fifth wheel lever. My fifth wheel lever, I'm gonna make sure it's not cracked or broken and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. It's on the lock position. <coughs> My fifth wheel is securely mounted to the platform by the bolts. I have one on this side and one on the other side. My bolts for my fifth wheel, I'm gonna make sure they're not cracked or broken and they're securely mounted <coughs> and they're on the tight position. My platform is securely mounted to my frame by the bolts. All the bolts are present. They're not cracked or broken, don't have any distortion. They're securely mounted to my frame. This is a sliding fifth wheel. I'm gonna inspect the hose for my sliding fifth wheel. I'm gonna make sure it's no abrasions, bulges, cuts, or leaks, and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. Right in the back is my uh, <coughs> air ram. My air ram, I'm gonna make sure it's no crack or broken, and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. I'm gonna inspect the pins for my sliding fifth wheel. I'm gonna make sure they're no crack or broken, and they're securely mounted, and they're on the lock position. From here, I'm gonna walk into the back, and I'm gonna inspect my kimping. My kingpin, I'm gonna make sure it's no crack or broken and it's securely mounted. It's on the lock position by the locking jab. My locking jab is no crack or broken, securely mounted, no missing hardware. And it's in the locking position around the chain of the kingpin. I wanna mention that between my landing gear and my vehicle, it's a proper distance to perform a 90 degree turn. I'm gonna perform in my air brake test. For all my tests, I'm gonna use in my primary air gauge. First, I'm gonna check my uh, ABS light. For this test to be success, my ABS light should come in on and off in less than 10 seconds. My ABS light is on, my ABS light is off in less than 10 seconds. This is a good test. Now I'm gonna perform in a safety start. I'm gonna make sure my truck is in neutral, my spring brakes are applied. First test I'm gonna perform is my governor cutout test. For this test to be success, my governor should cut out no higher than the 140 PSI. This is a good test, my governor cut out at 130 PSI. It's a good test because it's not higher than the 140 PSI. Now I'm gonna perform in my leakage test.
my needle has settled at 95 psi i'm going to start my minute now for this test to be success i should not lose more than four psi in this tractor trailer combination in one minute My minute is up, my needle is still at 95 PSI, I don't lose more than 4 PSI, PSI in one minute in this tractor trailer combination, this test is good. <laughs> Next test I'm going to perform is my lower warning test. For this test to be success, my warning light and buzzer should come up no lower than 55 PSI. My warning light and buzzer come up at 70 psi. This is a good test because it's not lower than 70, the 55 psi. Now I'm gonna perform my spring brake pop-up test. For this test to be success, my spring brakes should pop up. Bottom my spring brakes pop up at 25 psi. This is a good test. Now I'm gonna perform another safety start to build the air to the normal pressure to proceed to perform my torque test. I'm gonna put my truck in neutral. To accelerate the process, I'm gonna press the fuel and exceeding the 1200 RPMs. Air builds at a normal pressure. I would have put my truck in a low gear. And I'm gonna test my parking brake. This test is a success. My parking brake holding this tractor trailer in combination in place. Now I'm gonna test my trailer brake.
this test is a success, my trailer brake holder and distractor and trailer combination in place. Now I'm going to test my service brake. I'm going to move forward less than 5 miles per hour. I'm going to look through all my mirrors, make sure it's safe to do so. And I'm going to look forward. This test is a success. My service brake holding this tractor and trailer combination in place. My vehicle don't pull into the right or to the left, indicating the brake adjustment problem. This completes all my brake tests. Now that my vehicle is running, I like to perform in my in-cab inspection. First thing I'm going to inspect is my seat belt. My seat belt is not ripped or torn. It's securely latched and unlatched. Securely mounted to the floor, securely mounted to the vehicle, no missing hardware. I'm going to inspect all my mirrors. All my mirrors, I'm going to make sure they're not cracked or broken and they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. My mirrors, they're securely mounted to the arm, they are securely mounted to the vehicle, no missing hardware. All my mirrors, they're adjusted to me to drive. My window, my window roll up and roll down properly. It's not cracked or broken and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. My windshield. My windshield is not cracked, broken, or excessive pitting. It is securely mounted by the rubber seal. My rubber seal, I'm gonna make sure it's not excessively worn or torn and it will not leak to the inside. My windshield wipers. My windshield wipers are securely attached to the arm. They are securely attached to the vehicle, no missing hardware. My windshield wiper plate is not excessively worn or torn and, and it's a full contact to the vehicle. My windshield washer fluid is working properly. This is a 20 inch steering wheel. I want to make sure it doesn't have more than 10 degrees of play. This is my city horn, it's working properly. This is my air horn, it's working properly. My steering wheel is not cracked, broken, or damaged, and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. I'm going to look for my uh, light indicators. This is my left turn signal indicator, my right turn signal indicator, my forward flasher indicators, and my high beam indicator. All my indicators are working properly. I want to mention that all my gauges, they're not cracked or broken, they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. This one right here is my oil pressure gauge, it's working properly, rising to normal. My temperature gauge is working properly, rising to normal. My RPM gauge is working properly. My speedometer gauge is working properly, I noticed that because I drove the vehicle here to the DMV. My ball meter gauge is working properly, it should be between 12 and 14 volts, it's a little over the 14, but I don't affect the function of the vehicle. My fuel gauge, my fuel gauge indicating that I have enough fuel for all my tests. Right in here is my depth gauge. My depth gauge is indicating that I have enough depth for all my tests. I should not drive in this vehicle with less than one quart of the depth tank. My primary and secondary air gauge, they're working properly. We notice that because we just complete the air brake test. Right in here, I have extra fuses properly graded for this vehicle. My climbing control. I'm gonna make sure my defrost and my heater are working properly. My defrost is working properly and my heater is working properly. This is my fire extinguisher. My fire extinguisher, I'm going to make sure it's not cracked, broken or leaking, securely mounted, no missing hardware. It's fully charged and properly graded for this vehicle. The pin for my uh, fire extinguisher is on the lock position. Right in the back, I have my jackie box. Inside my jackie box, I have three refractable triangles. I'm going to make sure they're not cracked or broken and they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. I'm going to mention that my floor is nothing to start in my pedals when I'm driving. On my dash, it's nothing to start in my view when I'm driving. This completes my in-cab inspection.